Happening now, asylum hopefuls taking refuge in a Brownsville shelter. A group of volunteers is helping them out after noticing more of them on the streets after they're released from federal custody. Channel 5's Angela Vargas explains. The Good Neighbor Settlement House in Brownsville helps the homeless by day. At night, they give shelter to people who are seeking asylum. Individuals, some men, some young women who are typically pre pregnant. The men and women are dropped off at the Brownsville bus station. We've been averaging three to four people a night for the last week. We started last Wednesday. Director Jack White tells us the organization Angry Theas and Abuelas approached them. They wanted to find a place for asylum seekers to stay until they headed north. Many of them arrived just before the bus station closed and were left to fend for themselves on the street. But unfortunately, the bus station closes down at about 11, and many of those people, if their buses leave the following day, must stay on the streets overnight. We introduced you to Angry Theas and Abuelas volunteer Elisa Filippone last month. She was looking for help wherever she could find it, even taking in asylum seekers herself. Philippone still wants to see change. If the drop-offs would be consistent and early enough for people to get a bus ticket for that day, not at 4 in the morning, not at 3 p.m. the next day, then we wouldn't have this, this safety issue. White explains they will provide assistance through donations as long as it takes. And what do you guys do for them here? What do you provide? Uh, food, uh, showers, and an overnight stay. Philippone says she'll continue to try to help those she can. In Brownsville, Angelo Vargas, Channel 5 News at 10.